Generic greetings, there's been a distinct lack of trains around these parts, so I thought we would remedy that via the application of railroads. Today's beverages. Ah, a nice cup of coffee. So, in the previous Railroads video, which is many, many months ago now, someone has <laughs> someone has put forward a challenge, which we are going to be attempting now. If we go to single player, we can see we're going to select Great Britain with everything on default, and the option of note is the start year. We are starting in 1829. We'll click OK and load into the game. Now, just to give you some context, because I'm aware that uh, you may, not, may or may not be aware of uh, how you win in this game, the way you win is by buying everybody out. So in this case, we have Isambard, Kingdom Brunel, Jim Hill, and George Hudson. And we need to buy out of their stock. Obviously, to do that, we need to make money. The way you make money is by laying track and placing depots and carrying cargo from one place to another. You can also buy out things like the cannery, which is a which is a type of process there, a type of industry, and um, that will give you money as well. However, as the time progresses, your engines and thus your trains will be better. So the engines will be faster, they'll be able to carry more, they'll have better uh, torque up hills or that sort of thing. However, the question that someone's put forward, or rather the uh, the challenge that someone put forward is, what happens when you don't upgrade any of the trains ever from the start of the game? So 1829, <laughs> up until whenever we want to lose, what happens if you just don't upgrade them? Now I reckon I lose, but um, it's an interesting one and I've never tried it, so let's do just that, let's try it. So. We are not going to be upgrading any of our engines, so the train's going to be stock, which means by the time we get to about, I don't know, 1840-odd, we'll be well, well slow when, it com when you compare it to everybody else. Anyway, so we're in Norwich, and we can see that we've got a couple of industries around here. Our... Our process is to turn fish into food, and the only fishery we have is down here, the Ipswich Trawler Limited. Um, the Ipswich is down there. We've got, to our left, we've got the Norwich Cattle Company. We've also got Ipswich Sheep Farms and also Peterborough Sheep Pastures. And Peterborough it is turning, uh, by the look of it, it is turning um, cattle into food as well. Let's just see where the other... Uh, people are. So we're just going to have a look around. Manchester's clear, Liverpool's clear. Looks like there's someone in Wrexham. In Wrexham we've got Jim Hill. We'll go down over to Cardiff. Cardiff is clear. We've got Bristol, Northam there. Taunton, no. I'm guessing Salisbury. Yeah, Salisbury. We've got someone there and maybe Birmingham. Um, no, nobody in Birmingham. So is it going to be London? Uh, nobody's in London, so where are they? Oh, Hastings, apparently. So we've actually got a fairly decent spread. So I am going to probably head over to Ipswich first, although the difficulty in that is I want to have it so we can gather this fish. Um, or do we go plough straight ahead over to Peterborough first and then up to Cat Norwich Cattle Company? I think that may be the way forward. So we're going to go straight across here. Now if we did that, you can see it's a gentle uphill. We don't want that. What we want is a... We want not moderate anything. We just want no grade. And no grade would... If we did that, would give us a little bit of a bridge there. What I'm going to do is unpause it for a second because the game doesn't like to alter the land and generate the track as you're um, doing that. Gentle uphill will go down and you can see the uh, the price is altered here. No grade there. Um, if I go a bit further, it might turn that track into yeah into like a, a nice brick one, which I do prefer. So let's just place our station there. What we're going to do is go to track and we'll say 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, three passengers and two mail cars, that's fine. We'll wait until full, and then we're going to go over to Peterborough, and then wait until full once more, and then this that's basically going to do the round trip, so there we are. What we also want to do is a double track from Peterborough, probably the left-hand side of that track to there, and then we will not only connect that up to there, but also we will run a bit of track from... Ah, the question is, do we... Do we track all the way to there, or do we track from here? I think from here is probably the way forward. However, it is going to cost us some money. So I'm going to go to there. I'm going to reduce. Uh, so I'm going to sell some of my some of my stock there, just so I have enough money to do that, which allows me then to go and go for a cattle car, which I will say wait until full, and then go there and job done. That's fantastic. What I'm also going to do is have a... 
section of track like that, so it means that this one can also connect to there. But mainly the reason why we've done this is because the game is getting on a bit now. Um, it's not claiming a pension, but um, it's certainly probably in the line for a hip replacement. Because the game can have issues when it comes to routing and pathing. So this train, for example, is ready to leave Norwich Station and then come into Peterborough. However, if we connected up there, what it might do is come along here and then choose to go there for no reason other than it can. Then this one, if it was connected there, would block the line and it, you just want to try and avoid it. Many, many years of playing this, I uh, figured out some tips and tricks. There's... Um, cash incentives to get five cartloads of wool to Birmingham and that is possible because we do have as you can see over there the Peterborough sheep pastures so we could go straight to that if we wanted to what we could also do is connect up these two to here Peterborough however they have nitrates and they also have food nitrates are needed down south in Chelmsford and the the cattle is needed also in Oh, is that nitrates? Hang on. Let's see if it does it. Um, ah, no, it just shows me nitrates for those. Oh, so, sorry, nitrates go to uh, Hitchin, which produces medicine. Medicine is needed in bigger cities. So, uh, oh, no, uh, not bigger cities. It's needed where there's a hospital, which I don't know if there is only one of those yet. And then we've got Chelmsford, which is requiring clothing. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, just check here. Yep, yeah, that looks like that train is underway. There's our stock train. Remember, that's the train that we are going to be having throughout this entire game. Normally, what you can do is click on that and click upgrade, and you can select a different train. We are not going to do that at all. He says, knowing that we're probably going to lose the game because of it, but it's different at least. Let's go to sell, and we want to sell a bit of track just so we can do that. And obviously we'll then connect that up. We will, from the back of Peterborough, we want to see just how much it would cost to get to here. That would be um, more money than we have, and more money certainly than we can sell our stocks and shares for. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to wait for these to come in, and then we will... Um, crack on with it. Actually, what I might do is sell some stock and I will put up this stockyard. So let's start that because I think Peter is going to be our main town. It also, I've just realised, has a hospital as well. So there's Jim Hill trying to uh, bid on that, which is not good. There is the 222 and that's a nice uh, cargo passenger train. Uh, that's, oh, they're all making me bankrupt. They're bidding well over what they should be. No one, ever, no one ever accused the AI of being stupid, but it's 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 not it's not bad. It's for for the time for the age of game it is. It's fantastic, um, but it's always malicious. It's it's <laughs> they're horrible at times. It really is. So there we go. We're now into negatives, which is not good. But we are going to get some money for transporting passengers and cargo. Very nice. If we upgraded that, let's just see what we can get. So basically, already we would be increasing our speed from that to there. By ten, uh, by ten miles an hour, so twenty-five percent speed increase. But we're not doing that, are we? No, we're not. <laughs> Why aren't we doing it? Because we're stupid, right? Okay. Um, I could try to sell some of my stock, but oh, there's really not much. I'm gonna have to buy that. What I'm gonna do? I'm actually going to um increase the speed in this one, just so we're not here literally all day. Um, so <laughs> we'll let that crack on. So there's a new speed record being set by Isambard Brunel uh, with his 222. We will obviously never set any speed records unless we start at the top of a mountain and go down. And then it would just be like a roller coaster with 10 nausea rating, which is obviously something we are trying to avoid. So there is a double pop-up. We've got money for the delivery of the, of the um, cattle, but also money from the stock, which is good. So what we'll do with that money, we will go ahead and... Um, do I buy out my own, do I sell a bit more of my own stock or do I buy some more? I think it's important because of the way we're playing this to get as much transport as possible. So we're going to do that. What we'll do is we'll say we want, this is going to be a bit of an interesting um, transport here. We want to get a train, go to there, and I want to say max out on the wall. Okay, wait until full. We want to go to there. Actually, do you want to do that? No, let's let's just say two wall. Go here. And then get food. And then travel to Peterborough. Why can't we travel? Oh, I know why we can't travel to Peterborough. We can't travel because I'm an idiot. And I haven't connected this up. There. 
and there. Now we can. So we want to go from there um, to there. They want to clear that. Uh, yeah. Clear that. Then go there. Then load up on that. Then go there again. And clear that. And then get... Oh, sorry. That many and then that many. And then finally there. And that is... Is that our route? Oh no, I can't. I can't do it that way. I'm gonna say that's like the most complicated one I've ever done, but I don't think we. They don't think the game allows us to do that. That's a shame. Right. Okay. Instead, then what we'll do? I'm just gonna cancel that, making sure we're not dead. Yeah, we're not. We haven't been bought out yet. Uh, right. We'll go to buy trains. So we want to say there. That many go there. Um, two food and then there, which we'll is clear it and then come back. So it's gonna get some. Actually, can we do? Can we alter that? Um, edit it. Then after that, so there, 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 and then number there. And then there. Yes, we can do that. So it's going to go from here with four, sorry, six bales of wool. Go to Peterborough, two food. Go to here. Drop the food off and the bill and the and the hides rather. That's cattle, not um, wool. Is that right? Yeah. Um, it will then drop off the wool and then get loaded with passengers and mail. Drop that off there and then go to here and then restart the cycle. That's what's going to happen. Excellent. Okay. So I want really to be buying out that textile mill. So I want to sell some of my stock. And start a bit on the textile mill. Immediately someone will put their hands up. There you go. Thank you very much, Jim Hill. And I can't afford to buy that. Oh my good grief. It's going well over the odds. I can't afford it. Not unless we get one of these trains to pull in. No, I think I'm going to get it. I think I'm going to get it. But I've paid well over the odds for it. There we go, that's insane. But I'm going to buy some of my own stock back with the money that I'm just getting there because otherwise I'll uh, be bought out too quickly. And considering I've just spent most of that, I've done quite well there. Whoa, hang on, that camera's spinning. Um, oh, apparently you can hold control and it changes it around. Excellent. Okay, so there's that working fine. We want to now uh, get some food over to there and I think the way to do that would be to double track from the back end like so. We will then bring the track around. That's a steep uphill but we want to uh, have it as... Uh, we want it to go down here, around and basically connect up to its Ipswich. That's what we want to do. Although, if we wanted to, do we want to instead go this away and then we connect to Ipswich and then to that? And then in that way we'll be able to go to Chelmsford and such. That's probably the better way of doing it. So we'll do that. And that. I don't really care too much about where it is for now. Let's just set up a route. Back and forward like so. And we'll go to... Chelmsford, I think. We'll sell a bit. More of that. Like so. I think we'll only have that, quite frankly, because it's so close. <laughs> Be back and forward, back and forward. Um, I will double track this. I might as well. No, I won't. Got no money. <laughs> ah, well. Well, at least most of these are working now. Uh, there's increased speed in tight turns. Westinghouse air brakes patent. I will... I'll put a cheeky bid on it, but if I don't win it, I don't win it. I think... Not having, only having stock trains and not having that as well would be a bit too much. But I'm not paying all the odds for it. Uh, you can see there's now <laughs> a new passenger train, which is almost twice as fast as what we started with. And we're still not going to upgrade. Don't know why, but we're not doing it anyway. So let's go <laughs> from here. And we're going to go plow straight into uh, the big smoke capital city. And we will say one, two, three, four, five, and then go back and forward between the two. There you go. And again, I will double track this just in case there needs to be them in and out. 
Um, it's always best to track from... Oh, I'm rewarded. 100,000 cash for completion of the incentive offer, which is uh, get resources over to there. And you can see that now is supplying food, which is excellent. So where can that food go? Uh, well, that food's already going to a bit of Birmingham. Instead, what I'll do is I'll track from Peterborough up to Nottingham. All right. And again, we'll have from Nottingham, them three, go to there, clear the car, one, two, one, one, two, three, four. And then that should be a nice uh, nice supply there. So one of the things I haven't done is I haven't went and upgraded the stations to depots and depots to terminals. And I think it would be beneficial in doing that because you get more bonuses for doing that. You get more bonuses for, well, unload speed and things like that. Weapon makers report steep earnings drop. Okay. Yeah, you get more bonuses for doing that, you see. Um, so you can see car load and unload speed and also passenger and mail revenue. And since the majority of our money, I reckon, is in that, I think it's important that we do upgrade this. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. There we go. So there's Peterborough and Birmingham upgraded. Oh, you can see there's also clothing there as well. So Nottingham does require that. But I'd probably... I'm probably best... I'm a best on transporting it to, to Nottingham. I probably am, actually. Clothing up to there and go to there, like so. And then go from there up to there. Yeah, I think we'll do just that. So we'll put, like, a little loop in, like so. There's a 30 mile an hour... Um, nice little bonus there for them. Uh, that's going to be a problem. Because it's going to cost a little bit. Because of where I've gone, I've, I'm using... I've built tunnels, built bridges and whatnot. And there we go. So we want to travel from here. And we'll say one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. Go there, and then do you want to get rid of those three because we're not carrying any back? There we are, and because that, that's not producing anything. That does have a power plant, and if we had a power plant close, we would be able to be supplying that. We would be able to supply that from. Oh, we can supply from there from the Manchester Mining Company, and I think that's just about it. So you can see that the food is getting transported from there. That's great. We've got nothing over there. We've got nothing there transported. That's fine. We've still got loads of nitrates here, and nitrates are required at um, at Hitchin. And we do have a nice bonus for that. See that we uh, give if we deliver seven, we'll gain a bonus. So I think we'll focus on that now. So from this track, what we'll do is we'll split off from it, and it will be a bit of a sharp one. Uh, that's moderate uphill, but it's it's going to be like that. So moderate uphill, and then that's steep uphill to there. Can we um, change it to moderate? We can. We can do that. That's fine then. And then we'll do that. What we'll also do is set that from there. Nitrate. Wait until full. Go back to there. Clear the car and then come back. Now, obviously, I'm going from there to Hitchin, and I know that that chemical plant is going to be producing something. So I'm going to make sure that we uh, set that up correctly. The problem we might have now is that can you double track one of these? You can. I don't think. Has there been a time when I've ever double tracked that? I don't know. I can't remember a time when I've actually, I've double double tracked any of things like pastures and such. Anyway, that's our train heading off there. We do own this. Oh, yeah, we are going to own that in Hitchin. That's fine. And um, we don't have a hospital anywhere, I don't think. Um, oh, we do. In Peterborough, there is a hospital. So what we could do... This is an interesting one now. We could, tr uh, we could quadruple track that. So we'll track it to there. Like so. This is where it gets really problematic now. We'll do that. And what we want is apparently a glitch. There's just a, oh, there we go. I'm rewarded. <laughs> Gonna say that's a bit interesting. Well, we'll come round like that and connect this up. Um, like that. Because we want this train to be altered. Modify train. Go there. Go here, pick up those, go there, clear it, and drop it off. So instead of taking the nitrates from there, take, uh, dropping off the hospital and then going back, we're going to go via Peterborough, drop off those, and we're going to mm, probably probably buy out the hospital. But I want this uh, freight pulling power for all trains. If we don't have that, it might be a problem. So I'm going to keep buying it. That's mine now. Excellent. I'm also going to buy out this hospital. 
In terms of stocks, you can see that actually, hmm, larger than average cattle this season means higher demand. There's a 50 mile an hour freight train. I can't use it. A freight engine. I've now got that hospital. Excellent. Insider trading at its best, I think, there. Right. So, what do I want to do from here? One snake and down to there. Because if you notice, this one can take all of that. Oh. Sorry. Don't want that one. Delete. And go there and make clothing. Once again then, start buying up that textile mill. Because we can't wholly rely on our trains for this cargo, we're having to go heavy industry on all of the all of the um, the lots here. So we're buying a lot of those out. Which is stunting our growth somewhat when it comes to everywhere else but it's not a huge issue right what I'm gonna do is double track that there I was gonna come off this route and go over there but I'm, I've decided against it I think I am gonna go around we'll have this like nice little um, one by the sea here and we'll have a nice brick bit up until there and then place that and then obviously fisheries so that's only producing four but I'm gonna say wait until full and head back and then we'll clear that it only produces four at this point. It will ramp up. It does. Uh, it does simulate that with you know supply and demand for the industries. You see, um, so that's good. So I'm just checking. You see, there is still some passengers and mail to be taken back and forward. But I think that's always going to happen. It's always going to be there. Um, that train's going to keep coming back and forward from there to there. So that's fine. What I want to do is I want to buy out that cannery. And straight away, Jim Hill and someone else is... Oh, so we've just started the bidding and it's already up to nearly a quarter of a million generic units of currency, which is not great. Anyway, what I want to do is... Wait for that to finish. No. Right, it now is is quarter of a million. Alright, there we are. Let's start upgrading our terminals and everything else because I think that would be most beneficial. So that's that done there. I believe Peterborough who now is pretty much the biggest city on this map, is uh, fully upgraded. Uh, Birmingham is fully upgraded. Hitchin isn't, but I don't think we need it to be, quite frankly. But I think I will. I think I'll just by default, I'll make sure that we upgrade most of them. Um, that's done, I believe. Yes, that's done. Just double checking here. Yes, these don't need to be upgraded. No and Norwich is where we started, so that's always upgraded by default. Ipswich has been done, and Chelmsford and London. Oh, London hasn't, actually. Of all the places we haven't upgraded, it would be London. It looks like some of my stock has been bought out by someone, which is not great. That would be George Hudson. Um, I want to just go for a terminal. I'm just waiting for that money to go over. There we go. So, currently stocks are, uh, from lowest to highest, it is George Hutchinson lowest at just under 3 million. It is then Jim Hill at 6.6 .6 million. Me on 6.7 million, then um, Isambard Brunel on 8.8. .8. So, actually... I'm not doing too bad, considering all my trends are stock. <laughs> right, okay. Um, what we might do, um, do we want to transport this cattle down to there? I don't know if we do. I really don't know if we do. Um, however, that Manchester Mining Company is really... Um, I believe Birmingham need bombs. It does require munitions. There's a pool power station... I don't know what they're doing with it, but I'm going to buy it out. I didn't mention at the start, but I, I really did think that if there was any industry that someone else is buying, I really need it. Because I rely on... Wow, this is going to be a really good tunnel. I'm going to actually spin the camera around um, so we can see what's going on. Hang on. There we go. Yeah, I want, I want the industries... Very much so. Some, that's moderate uphill, you see. I might as well alter it, because I'm already tunnelling through the... 
the entire mountain anywhere. That's a gentle uphill. That should be fine. There's a 422 Sterling. There you go. So, four at the front, two, and then two. 60 miles an hour. That is currently twice as fast as our train. <laughs> Not good. Wait there. Go there, and then clear. All right. So, that's going to go to the mining company. This is 25% bonus for... Bonus? Bonus for perishables. We want that. Definitely want that. And we're going to win that. I've also started the Nottingham Power Plant buyout. It's a shame that it's a power plant. Power plant just gives you cash when stuff goes there. Wow, look at the price of this. This is going well up. Uh, you've, uh, you've been... A vacationers invade. Tourists take on sites as moguls raking profits from passengers. Excellent. Um, yes, as I was saying, so the the problem with the power station is that it's just it's it's not a waste because you do get good money. So let's just see how much we're getting for the coal delivery. So we are going to get uh, fourteen each, and then when you make then the power plant um, sells it, you get or when you when you have the power plant, you gain three k from that as well. Which is really good. However, the problem is that if we had instead of that, if we had a um, munition plant, we'd actually turn that into munitions and then. Uh, there, sorry, Link, see there, Lincoln. If we took in a Lincoln instead. Uh, there's Liverpool. Liverpool! There we go. Uh, yes, um. If we took a Lincoln, we'd make it in steel and take steel and then to a munitions plant and then munitions plant somewhere else. If you want to win in the UK and you want to win very easily, uh, you do that. You do that order. You take or to a um, steel mill and then you st steal to a, um, an armory, I think it's called, um, or a muni munitions plant probably, war factory, and then you take the rest that way. Yeah, that's how you do it. Anyway, so that's transporting there. We could, if we wanted to, get more cattle towards Peterborough, but it's just a little bit full, if you can see the size of it. Although, it wouldn't be too bad if we wanted to... Mm, oh, we could do that, but you know what I'm going to do instead? Um, this is a, There's a war factory here, um, and it's not really connected to anything. And there's a lot of stuff around here, like Liverpool and the cattle company. Oh, and the cattle company's right there. Oh, well, that's, that's something we're going to exploit straight away. So what we'll do is we will double track from here. And this is not going to be a connected track at all to anything else. There's half the cost to build bridges. Well, since I'm about to build loads of bridges, I am going to buy that out. However, it is just past the point where I really don't care. So I'm uh, not going to pay that much. Um, there's no grade up to that point anyway. There's, there's a moderate uphill, then we'll go to there like that, okay? So we'll connect that up to there, that up to there. And, yeah, I'm not, I'm not paying that. And then we'll take all of the beef from there, and then drop it off to there. And actually what we'll do is we'll clear it. We'll then take... And then go to there, and then clear the car and back. So we're going to say beef from there. Buy that stockyard out. Beef from there to there. Drop it off. Uh, drop the beef off, pick up food and mail and passengers, and then take it down to Birmingham. There we go. I am currently winning when it comes to stocks. Oh, but we are using newer trains, though, the one we're building. Now, that is a point, isn't it? Do I downgrade? The challenge was, and I'm rules lawyering a bit. The challenge was to never upgrade a train. We haven't upgraded the train. We've just built. We've just bought new land uh, lines and such. Um, do we want to extend upon that and reduce all of our trains down to the worst one? I mean, that would be in the spirit of the challenge, if not the the, the order of the challenge. The problem is doing it. Um, having to go around and. Sit upgrade. Go downgrade to the <laughs> previous one. Should we do that? Let's see let's see what happens with our profits if we do this, right? <laughs> I'm just gonna go down every single one and making sure we're on the <laughs> the really, really old train, which is um hang on, how old is it? It's nineteen seventy seven, twenty eight. <laughs> oh right. So it's a fifty year old train. Which, you know, the fact is that 
steam trains, even the ones in like the forties and just before that, they, they were still fast stuff. I mean, no, they're not maglev trains or anything like that either. But I mean, yeah. Anyway, so we'll we'll we've now downgraded all of our trains. All of our trains are now the stock one because I think yeah we'll go for the the spirit of the challenge rather than the 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 specifics of the challenge. Um, right. So where can we go from here? The way you win against win in this game is by don't just don't stop. That is the that's the rules basically. If you stop building and just rest, you are going to lose, and you'll lose very, you will lose very quickly. Um, fishing's up, which is good because we have a little bit in that, only a tiny bit though. Let's take all of the minerals. Wait until full go there. The reason I'm waiting until full is because we do have fairly slow trains, and I say fairly slow, we have a very slow trains. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm managing to buy this out. I noticed that my income has plateaued somewhat. <laughs> um, I'm going to put it down to the slow speed, just so we can check the uh, reports here. Um, in terms of goods, we are... Not doing too bad for passengers and mail. Livestock, I'm 100%. I'm Livestock king. And and uh, medicine as well. Cool. However, the price fluctuations of everything, pretty much. Although arms has gone right up, which it often does. Fish has just gone up because of that event, which we were, that's understandable. Um, in terms of trains, we can see all of our different trains. I'm not going to customise or alter that one. There is a victory uh, screen there, but we're not doing them challenges. We have done that previously. Uh, if we look at our... Um, overall price here, you can see this is where it shot up when I bought loads of my stock, but it's sort of leveling off there. These have got steady growth. I've went jump, 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 jump as I've bought different things. So I reckon it'll probably be going down later on, but we'll see. Let's put it up to the fastest speed again. I mean, when you put it to fastest speed, it, also, it almost looks like these are realist, like, you know, proper trains, not the really dire, horrible, slow ones that we're having. Anyway, I would like to use that trawler company, but it's not going to happen. So Lincoln is still not connected, which is a problem. However, what we can do, if we wanted to, which we do want to, is spin the camera around. And this is probably not going to work, but can we go... Oh, we actually, no, we can do it. We can instead go that away and down to Lincoln like so. All right. Connect that up. Go from there. Wait until full. Go there. Clear the track. All right. And we'll double track it like that, just to give it the best possible chance of us um, having these uh, different tracks in. Uh, can we track from there? Looks like we can. Oh no, it's glitched out. Right, that's a problem. That might have broken the thing. Um, we might be alright, we might be alright. Once this is moved off, the other one can probably come in. I'm hoping that this train here... Oh, hang on, wait. <laughs> I'm hoping that this train here can... Go on to this bit of track, but I think it's broke. I think I've broke it. I need to select that bit of track. We're okay. Right, the other one can go there, the other, then that one can go there. That's fine. American beef inversion begins. Increased young cattle and parts, lowering demand for the price of local beef. Okay. Right, okay, fair enough. So, Lincoln, buy out the steel mill. Hip up, hip hur. So, I'm going to start buying out some other people's stock. So far, I am winning. There's another train. What's that called? Oh, the Johnson Midland Spinner. I thought it was the Johnson Mad Lad Spinner. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> right, okay. So, where were we? Uh, cattle's coming from there. These are getting transported. Sadly, we could probably... Oh, my good grief. Look at the amount of... Look at the amount of um, resources there. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to double-track in London 
I'm going to track up here. Connect those two up. I'm going to buy or build a hospital. Alright. Which means you automatically own it. And then from here, all of that, wait until full, go there. Uh, that's fine. I'll change the engine to that one. And clear the track. So we're now going to take from there to there. There's half maintenance costs in all trains. Now this is where I actually have the advantage because the maintenance cost for these trains is very, very low. The problem is that they also take longer to get anywhere. <laughs> so it means you're not making the profits that you would on a faster train. So even though you're paying less for the maintenance, you're not making as much of a faster train, which is a shame. What I'm going to do now is go down here and do that and have another train wait until full go over there clear it there maintenance cost 250 maintenance cost 1750 <laughs> oh it's so stock <laughs> Look at that coming in. <laughs> at, um, yeah, 18.89. And we're using the same old trains. <laughs> Good grief. Right. Buy. And, do you want to buy that? Buy. I am making quite a bit of money now. I own 20% in Brun 20 percent of Brunel's company, 20% Jim. Don't own anything in George, but quite frankly, it's so low that I don't really care too much. There's that going to there. Um, do we want to go to from Birmingham to Cheltenham? We could do. No reason why we couldn't. I mean, there might be a great reason. It might be a horrible place, but I've never been there, so can't make any comment on that. Uh, 50 mile an hour by Brunel. And, oh, that's a problem. See, what they've done, they've strategically blocked me off. So I can't actually get into that city. What we'd have to do is go under and over. Which I'm very tempted to do. Yeah, you can't stop me. <laughs> uh, the old tunnel roo. Right, so we want to go from there. Back and forward. Job done. George Hudson rewarded for doing whatever. Very nice. Uh, buy that and buy that. Apparently there's a steel mill there. And it might be doing something. It says revenue zero. But when I went to transport, there was two things there, so I don't know. Interesting. Anyway, so that's going to there. Um, we haven't got anything in Wrexham. Nitrate prices fall. That's a shame, because I've just put a lot of money into that. Uh, Wrexham's going to be the same sort of deal. What we'd have to do is go under, like that. Um, let's see if it would... Let's see if we could do that. So if we span it round like this... Could we go under? No grade to there. And then, yes! No grade to there. Hi! We're in here. <laughs> We've managed to get there. I didn't think we'd manage to do that. And, oh! Excellent. I'm going to take, there's an 80 mile an hour train now, um, I'm going to take some passengers from Wrexham to uh, to there, what I need to do is upgrade, upgrade, air quotes, uh, up that, upgrade that there, down to that one, there we are, um, but I'm also bringing back some medicine, but it doesn't do anything at the moment because I haven't built a hospital. No, I've just built a hospital, so that's fine. 
So, where are we? Let's just take stock. So, I own 90% of my stock. Um, and I'm winning on 22 million. The next highest is Brunel on 15.3 million. And he owns 60% of his stock. However, I own 30. Revise that, make that 40% of Brunel. Jim Hill is on 12 million, nearly 13 million. He owns 50% of his company. George owns 10% and I own 20%. And then George owns none of his stock. Brunel owns seventy percent, and he owns and Jim Hill rather owns three uh, thirty percent, three of them. So TLDR, I'm winning somehow. I don't know how it's happened, but we are. Um, I'll be honest with you. At this rate, we might I might have missed one or two trains. There might be one or two trains that I've not um, lowered down. And the computer's cheating. Look at that, because of the routing. The routing's on medium, which means if they're stuck, it, um, it'll it happily go through, I swear. And just as I buy some of my stock, you can see Brunel is trying to buy Hastings Cannery. Um, I will put a cheeky bid in there, even if it is half a million. Because <laughs> my objective is to do that. And I'm, I'm profiting off their railroads. They are transporting things all over the place, but because I own the industries there, I'm getting the money. Look, there's a there's a <laughs> there's a power plant in Pool that we've never even visited Pool. We're nowhere near Pool. However, because <laughs> we own it, we're profiting off it. Which is good. Um nearly sixty miles an hour. Um there's twenty five percent cheaper to build rails. That is just like I think one of the best you can buy. And if you don't then You've either stopped building, or I think you're in error. Although, it's come up a bit late. This is a lot more powerful. There's an 80 mile an hour train. Remember, our highest is 30. <laughs> and I don't even know what the maximum speed for our trains has ever been. But still. Yes, uh, if you buy this later on in the game, it's obviously the... The earlier you buy that sort of thing, the better. Because the 25% sa savings on the entire game is substantial. So we have, as you can see here, a bit of food to transport. We can alter this. Um, from Norwich with that. And I'm going to actually reduce this down a bit. There we go. So from, because Norwich has got, uh, things go on Chelmsford and it's quite close. Chelmsford has clothing as well. So I want to alter that. Chelmsford Terminal. Load up on clothes. And I will remove those. Normally, under the cir under normal circumstances, with a standard train, going from there to there wouldn't be a problem. You wouldn't unload it for that distance. But because it's actually more efficient for me to unload it and move it there, then I think we'll leave it. I think we'll leave it. So you can see revenue for the textile mill. Profit, 82 grand. Profit is minus 400 on that one. Profit, the stockyard is... Uh, is that 499? I think it might be. Wow, hospital, that's in the tank though, look. But it's just about to get some resources. It's taken, what, two or three minutes since we built that one there to get to there. Oh, there's our ES1. The General Electric announces a new engine. 100 miles an hour. Electrified rails. Excellent. And secure the Royal Jewels. That's us, is it? Build an uh, industrial force to be reckoned with by attaining net worth of 30 million. Oh, wow, okay. Um. That's interesting. <laughs> Either way, I think I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to buy out the last of my shares. Um, and just as I do that, you see the AI yeah, jumps in because it knows we've got no cash. Uh, either that or it's a, a hilarious coincidence. I'm going to sell some of my shares and buy that. I want it. I want it. <laughs> yeah, there we go. So we got that steel mill. I am going to... Whoa, end of the line for George. So George Hudson has now been bought out by Brunel, who's now on 21 million. Jim Hill on 18, and myself on nearly 30. I am going to leave it there. 
because I think I can have this. I think my now long-term goal would pretty much just be sit and do nothing. Um, I know I said that's a death sentence, but now what I'll probably do is expand a little bit over to Liverpool, over to here, and get some transport going there. But other than that, I would just amass enough money to buy Jim Hill, and then there's, because I own basically the majority of it, there's no way that uh, Brunel can stop me, especially since I own more of his stock. So, I mean, I can buy him out for 12 million. In fact, that would be uh, pretty much it as well, buying them out. But we're going to leave it there because it's going to take about 15 to 20 minutes for me to do that and I wouldn't be building much. So there you go. <laughs> That's been a little bit of really old. So hope you have enjoyed the video and indeed the challenge. If you have any other challenges or ideas you want to do or just want to see more, then by all means let me know in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. And that is Spaghetti Junction. <laughs>